Standing here outside in Israel, you have the flags in the background. You hear cars passing by as if it's a regular day. But these are not regular days. These are days that almost every day we're bringing our beloved soldiers to burial. And this brings me back to the interview that I saw with Rav Nevensal Shlita before Tisha B'Av. Rav Nevensal says that if we understood what Beit HaMikdash did for us, in Beit HaMikdash in the morning we started the Korban in Korban Tamichel Bokel. That's how we started the day. And that will bring Kapara for any sin that took place the night before. Beit HaMikdash would end the day with Korban Tamichel Ben Arbaim to bring Kapara and any sin that took place during the day. So Am Yisrael was living on a very high level of purity, of Tahara, of Gdusha. And obviously the protection we had was on a whole different level. This Shabbat we're starting Parashat Truma, says the Ramban in the beginning of his introduction to Sefer Shemot. He says, the idea why we're starting in the middle of the Book of Redemption, the idea of Mikdash, the idea of Mishkan, is because we need to understand that redemption is not just physical, it's also spiritual. We're trying to come back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu spiritually. These days that are challenging, these are days that we're starting Parashat Truma for a very long time till the end of Sefer Vaikra. We're going to be dealing with Mikdash. We're going to be dealing with Korbanot. And that could be a tremendous protection for us as Jewish people. As we are now fighting back physically, we're also fighting back spiritually to bring Am Yisrael back. To see our Chayalim, Am Yisrael, everybody gather together, Bigdusha, Tzitzit became the symbol of this war. Everybody's asking for it. The unity, the love for Am Yisrael, as Mikdash represents, with the two Kruvin on top of the Aron facing each other as friends, as brothers. That's what this Shabbat is starting for us. As Bezrat Hashem, we're going to have a Shabbat Shalom and Pseroto Vot for Am Yisrael.